Hey there, it's Kristen from Critters Ramblings and back again in the same outfit you saw a few weeks ago in a video. Um, I'm shooting two today for two book hauls today. So this book haul is things I've purchased, um, which is quite a lot because I've had a few extra pennies in the account. And then some swap site stuff where I swap on um, paperback swaps. So let me share what I've gotten uh, in my book hauls. So uh, first my swaps. So I got A Wedding Invitation by Alice J. Whistler, which looks really cute. Super girly, super cute. Absolutely what I love. And then I've been collecting uh, these and I want to try to read them all kind of straight through so we'll see. So this is The Betrayal of the Blood Lily by Lauren Willig. And I feel like there's like eight or nine. I don't even know how many I have so far, but I um, got this one. And then this one I've been wanting for a long time. I had no clue how chunky it was. It's Happily, Happily Ever After by Harriet Evans. And at first the cover is just really cute. And the story just sounds super cute. So I'm really excited to uh, read that. And then Best Staged Plans. And the opposite. This one I thought was super little when I got it by Claire Cook. And then Inside Out Girl, this one looks hilarious by Tish Cohen. It just looks absolutely stinking hilarious. And then I've got House of Daughters, which again looks really good. And Sometimes Why by Rebecca Johnson. And this one has some snow and some sleds, so I'm hoping I read it in the winter time, so I'm hoping to read it soon. And then Remedies by Katie Ledger. And this is one I bought. I bought Mennonite, Mr. Mennonite Meets Mr. Right. Um, I have the first book, um, Mennonite and Black Dress or something like that. So I hope to read those two in a row. And then my mom gave me Heart on a Shoestring by Marilyn Gray. This is book four in this series. And I've read the first three and I think my reviews are slated to go up the end of March. I didn't have like days in a row until March and so I'm going to read this and this will be reviewed also the end of March. And then the rest are purchases and it's, I got some good deals. So it's, the bank account didn't get hit too bad but definitely spent some money. So Bruno, our sweet German Shepherd, um, decided to eat my earmuffs a week ago and so I had to order a new pair and when I ordered them from Amazon to get free shipping I had to add two books so I got two books from Amazon I got the second book in the fame game series or trilogy I think it might be a trilogy starstruck um the first one's fame game and I think the third one's infamous and I think the third one's out but I always get these in paperback cheaper and I'm okay to wait um so I haven't actually I have the first series total the LA candy series trilogy haven't read any of them have had them and now I have the second book in the um fame game series and then this is one I've been seeing on booktube for the longest time had to grab it. It's YA fantasy dystopian. It's The Darkest Minds. I got the paperbacks and it's a little bit cheaper. So Never Fade is the second book and I'm waiting for that to come out in paperback. If anyone knows, I can't find a date for when it's coming out. Um, I'd like to know. And then the third one comes out this year. So I got that. And then the next ones, I went to, I had a coupon um, for Books A Million and we have a new Books A Million that opened in one of our outlet malls around here. They moved locations and it's now like double the size and super nice. So I spent a little bit of money, but most of these, all of them except one, were off the clearance rack. So that was kind of cool. So I got Eve, which is the first in, I believe it's a trilogy. I know all three of them are out. I just haven't, I only have this one. Um, that's by Anna Carey. And then I got Shatter Me, again, another one I've seen on booktube. And I'm super annoyed. I'm not a keeper and I don't usually care about covers. But the covers changed from this book to book two. And book two, you can get that in hardback. But you can't get the new cover in hardback, only in paperback. Super weird. But, so I got Shatter Me. Sorry, you hear dog barking in the background. They're playing. And then that other series, the Lauren Willig series. Um, this is The Mischief of the Mistletoe. 
And then this is the only one I didn't get on clearance. And it's for book club. It's a book club I'm going to, um, The Husband's Secret, and I really wanted to read it. And everyone in book club so far said it's amazing. So I'm really excited to um, read this. And then also my last one from Books A Million is Faith by Jennifer Hay. Hi. Hey. And then these are thrift store picks that I got from the thrift store. I got three. I have Lisa Scottaline, Lisa Scottolini, Daddy's Girl. And um, I love her thrillers. They're super good. Super good. And then another Claire Cookbook, Seven Years Switch. And I think my mom, like this cover looks exactly like my mom. So I'm hoping to read this soon and pass it off to her because I think she would really like it. And then I got a red dress ink for 50 cents at a library sale, the Matzo Ball Harris. I went to this library sale and they said, oh, it's going to be huge. One huge. And then I don't like to buy former library books with all the covers and the crap on it. And so there was only limited that didn't have the former library stuff and it wasn't huge. But I got one book for 50 cents. So good, I guess. And so the same day I went to that um, library sale, I was in the area of my second and Charles that's near me and I hadn't gone in a very, very long time because I'm usually in that area with my husband and he's not a book buyer. So I went and I only spent 40 bucks and I got 12 books, which I think is a deal and a tote bag. So let me share what I got there. I got a lot of red dress ink, which was awesome. They had a clearance racks, like four clearance racks. And the clearance racks were only like $3, $2, $1, and they were buy one, get one free. It was kind of nuts. So I got Good Times Bat Boys, a red dress ink book. And I got Fishbowl, another red dress ink book. And then this one was on the clearance rack, but I've really, I've heard amazing things Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. And I've read, um... Delirium, but I haven't read any of the other Delirium series. I loved Delirium. I just haven't read any of the other ones, and this one sounds really good, and her new one, Panic, sounds really good. So I grabbed this. I think it was only like six dollars for the hardback. Um, and then another red dress ink book, uh, The Dairy Queen. It looks super cute. And uh, Local Knowledge by Liza Gyllenhaal. This or that's. It looks right. Um, it looks really super cute. It looks kind of southern and, oh, they're from New York. Never mind. But it looks super cute. And then this one I've been eyeing actually at my local bookstore. Kept debating on it, kept debating on it. And I think I saw it was like $8 or something. It's called The Bookstore by Deborah Mailer. And it sounds really, really good. It sounds really good for those who are bookies and book nerds. And then this one, so the female checking me out was a little on the like indie side of life. I'm a little on the preppier side of life. And so when I was checking out, she said, are you kidding me? You're buying this book. And I said, yeah, it's fiction. I want to read it. I read girly stuff. You know, she made fun of me. So it's Dollhouse by the Kardashian sisters. It's their fiction book. I've been wanting to read it. So for $5, I thought, mine as well. So I got it. And then I got So Much Pretty by Kara Hoffman. It just sounds really, really good. And another red dress ink, Summer in the Land of Skin. And then the second in the Bridget Jones, I have the first and I have a signed copy of the Mad About a, Mad About a Boy. And so I wanted to grab this so I could read all three of them in a row. I've never read any of them. So now I have all three. And last one, Running Dream by Wendelin Van Dranen. Dranen. Um, this is a YA. I've heard amazing, amazing things about it. Everyone um, has really enjoyed it. Bookables, Heather at Bookables said she loved it. Contemporary. So, and I love that it's like a hardback, but it doesn't have the dusk jacket. It's kind of unique. kind of like it. So that is what I've purchased so far this month and gotten on Swap. So it's been a crazy book month already and I already have one or two ready for my next post for my next book haul which will come the end I think um, two weeks after this is posted. So happy reading!